For today, let us learn the five pillars of action as an anti-drug strategy where we adopted such pillars and the purpose of the five pillars. Thus, what are the five pillars of action as an anti-drug strategy? It includes drug supply reduction, drug demand reduction, alternative development, civic awareness, and regional and international cooperation. The Dangerous Drugs Board adopted the five-pillar global drug control approach instituted during the UN General Assembly Special Session on Drugs, UNGAS, in July 1998 by the ASEAN and China Cooperative Operations in response to Dangerous Drugs, Accord, in which the Philippines is a member. Next, let us learn the purpose of each pillar. 1. Drug Supply Reduction this pillar is mainly concerned with strengthening the rule of law and enhancing a network of control measures. The extent to which dangerous drugs are proliferated is addressed through the enhancement of law enforcement programs, regulatory compliance, and legislative and judicial measures. Next pillar, the so-called drug demand reduction. If in the drug reduction pillar, the aim is to reduce the supply. In this pillar, the aim is to reduce the demand or the number of users. Logically, if people don't consume drugs, only a few will be involved in the production of drugs. So, how do we lower the demand for drugs? This is to be achieved through preventive education, treatment and rehabilitation, and research. Alternative Strategy In this pillar, it aims to identify alternative strategies to address production and supply. By providing alternative strategies like livelihood programs, business assistance, and the like, People would refrain from producing dangerous drugs and selling such, hence, we already provided alternative ways for them to earn a living, civic awareness and response. This pillar answers the question, what shall be done to inform society about the impact brought by dangerous drugs, and to get the support of the society in the different programs by the government and NGOs in the fight against problems brought by dangerous drugs, and lastly, the regional and international cooperation. This pillar emphasizes cross-border strategy sharing and regional activities, while enriching the existing national responses and capacity-building programs. 